It's that time. It's time for the midweek edition of the Valley's most in-depth weather forecast video. Geeks, weather for weather geeks, even if you're not a geek. This is a good video for you to uh, get caught up on the latest weather here across the Mahoning and Shenango Valleys. And we take a look at interesting things elsewhere across the country in this video and even touch on some astronomy and other sciencey subjects sometimes. You know, in, in our line of work, accuracy is very, very important. I take it very seriously and I keep detailed records of our forecasts and our accuracy. Every now and then I like to give you a little peek behind the curtain. We call it the two degree guarantee. Uh, the goal is to be right within two degrees on our high temperature forecasts. And uh, I'll admit the first week of February, we kind of took it on the chin. We had, what, six consecutive misses during the first week of uh, February. We've done better ever since. Although today we'll go in the record books as a miss. We were three degrees off today. The high got up to 35. It's a little bit sunnier uh, than I thought it would be uh, during the midday and afternoon today. I thought we'd have a deck of stratocumulus clouds coming in off of Lake Erie for a time. We had those first thing this morning, but they cleared out quicker than I bargained for. So. That allowed our temperatures to get a little bit warmer than I bargained for, but I'll tell you, I don't uh, mind missing a forecast like this when it turns out to be a pretty nice winter day. We don't have too many sunny days around here at this time of the year. So it was a nice uh, sunrise this morning with those uh, broken clouds eventually just giving way to almost wall-to-wall -wall sunshine by this afternoon. And we had a beautiful, beautiful sunset earlier on this evening. So I wanted to show you our sunset time lapse from Boardman. Uh, sunset this evening at 6.01 p.m. and there she goes. What a good looking sky that is with just a few wispy cirrus clouds mixed in with the sun uh, this evening. Our sunset this evening was at 6.01 in just two and a half weeks as daylight saving time returns. Sunset will be at 7.22 and by April 13th our sunsets get up to 8 p.m. and our latest sunsets in uh, the Youngstown area and that's uh, approximate latitude and longitude uh, 8.59 p.m., you know, give or take a minute or two on those sunset and sunrise times, depending on where exactly you are in our area. But for Youngstown, and the, the latest sunset is a handful of days in late June at 8.59 p.m. All right, I mentioned, you know, it's a pretty cloudy time of the year around here, and the last couple of weeks have been no exception. Here's a look at the last 12 days, not counting today. Overall, fairly cloudy with uh, just a couple of days where we did have a little more in the way of sunshine. And so a day like today, an afternoon like today, Boy, soak it up. It is uh, a rare treat for meteorological winter. Speaking of meteorological winter, I'm giving a talk uh, tomorrow morning out, up in uh, Ashtabula uh, and uh, reviewing last year, reviewing the winter and giving a little preview of what's to come as we transition into spring before you know it. This is where we stand on the list of warmest winters on record. As of earlier on today, we're in sixth place, but as you can see, all these years are kind of bunched up here in the, in the middle of this list. Uh, we could uh, maybe get to fifth place. Uh, we could also drop down to seventh or even eighth place by the time February is done. I think we're going to finish in the top 10, but there's going to be some fluctuation here. We are going to have some warmer weather coming our way at the uh, end of this week and into the weekend, followed by a cold shot right at the end of February. And we'll just see where we finish. I suspect it'll be somewhere in the top 10, but no notice all the recent winners on this list. 2015, 16, 2011, 12, uh, 16, 17, this year, and 2001, 2002, all since the turn of the century. This is a big El Nino winter, 97, 98. This was a big El Nino winter, 82, 83. This was a big El Nino winter in 2015, uh, 2016. This year, we did not have a big El Nino, but despite that, uh, it has been, of course, a very, very balmy winter. All right, uh, our weather quiet, it's gonna stay that way. This front stalling across the Southeast is going to have big implications for parts of uh, the mid-Atlantic states and especially down into the Carolinas. Winter weather advisories are up for Raleigh and Charlotte and surrounding areas. It's a winter storm watch closer to Virginia Beach and Norfolk and down towards the outer banks of North Carolina. And this will be enough to be disruptive for sure. Now, you don't need a foot of snow to cause big time problems once you get down far enough to the south. And a couple of inches of snow in Charlotte and then especially if there's a refreeze, a uh, uh, a refreeze of the meltwater and the slush uh, Thursday night and Friday morning. I suspect this is going to be pretty impactful on uh, on roads as far south as Charlotte and uh, Greenville, Spartanburg, heading over towards Raleigh as well. And uh, yeah, Virginia Beach down to the Outer Banks, that could be the bullseye. There could be some spots to get five or six inches worth of snow out of that system. That is too far to the south to be a problem for us. High pressure keeps us dry but cold on Thursday. I wanted to zoom all the way out here on Friday. I've been talking about this a few times this week, just how quiet 
the weather's going to be on Friday across the country as high pressure will be parked almost right in the middle of the country and from sea to shining sea fair weather if you're lucky enough to have a flight scheduled across uh, the U.S. on Friday you're in luck uh, the weather will not be an issue just about everywhere now a system is going to come into the southwest as the weekend begins with rain in Vegas and in Los Angeles and Phoenix snow in the higher elevations but for us boy it's going to be a nice weekend as this high builds across we are going to have lots of sunshine Saturday and Sunday. In fact, 50 or so Sunday afternoon. Medium range, uh, not much has changed on the overall thinking here. If you've been following my thoughts on this over the last couple of days, there's an increase in confidence that the end of February and the very start of March will likely be a chilly period. Harsh cold, no, but chilly compared to the average for the end of February and early March. Remains to be seen how long that pattern will stick around. Uh, low confidence on that at this point. All right, that'll do it for me on this uh, Wednesday evening edition of Weather for Weather Geeks. Thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for watching all of these videos and I'll have a fresh edition of this video coming your way same time, same place on Thursday.